Inside the Magic, covering Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Universal Studios, and more. It touches us in big ways and small ways in every part of our lives. A shared moment. A classic character. A new world. An inner strength. It stays with us. From our youngest memories to our oldest friends. What you'll find in every experience, whether in our parks, at our resorts, on a cruise, or in your home, spanning generations, spanning the globe, a shared truth that binds us all together. experience touching the lives of families of all kinds. In every way and every day, the magic of Disney can ignite the child within us. At Disney, this is the mission that fuels our passion for the new. amount of new magic about to be unveiled, it will be there, touching lives in even more surprising ways. Because Disney believes that every moment of life can be magical. And these are the moments Experiences and products, Bob Chapek. Good morning, D23. Hey, so do we have any Parks fans in the house? All right, so for all you fans, I hope you've been enjoying this D23 Expo, which has been filled with exciting announcements about all the new stories coming your way from our studios, our media networks, and of course, Disney Plus. Now, of course, it was Walt's vision for his theme parks to be places where Disney stories come to life in amazing ways. And it's this relentless spirit of storytelling and innovation that's behind the announcements that we'll be sharing today. Because every day across the globe, more than 160,000 cast members work passionately to create those magical moments for all of our guests. And I don't have to tell you that our cast are at the heart of every great Disney experience. And I want to take a moment to recognize and thank the teams that deliver that Disney difference every single day. So as you all saw in that amazing video, we're bringing Disney magic to nearly every corner of the globe. In fact, each year, approximately 
150 million guests visit our parks and resorts, take a Disney cruise, or travel with Adventures by Disney. And every one of those guests has their own Disney story. There are first timers, some of whom experience Disney magic with the wonder of youth, and some will become young again the moment they walk through our gates. There are families who create their own magic with every step, every experience, and every new memory. There are heroes that find strength that comes from within. And there's friends who find fun in expected and maybe even some unexpected places. There's fans who know there's only one place they can actually be part of the story. And of course, folks whose visit marks a beginning or a magical milestone. And you know, one of the best parts of my job is reading guest letters with incredible stories of how Disney magic made those moments special. Because, I mean, after all, Disney Parks experiences the products, we only have one mission. And that's to create magical memories that last a lifetime for the millions of guests who visit us from across the globe. And I believe that every inch of our park should be magical. I believe that every attraction should tell a story that resonates with guests of all ages. Which is why we're putting in more Disney, more Pixar, more Marvel, and more Star Wars into our parks. Every live show and spectacular should bring your favorite stories to life in thrilling ways. Which is why we're debuting new parades and nighttime shows. And I believe that every hotel should bring you closer to the magic. Which is why we're building resorts that only Disney could create. I even believe how you get to and from our park should be magical. Which is why we've created the Disney Skyliner at Walt Disney World. Okay, so delivering on those promises is no small task. But with the world's most creative and talented teams of artists and dreamers, there's no shortage of inspiration. In fact, our biggest challenge is really deciding which of those ideas to bring to life. But fortunately, we have a lot of guidance because we listen very closely to what you tell us that you want, what you like, and how you prefer to spend your time with us. And your feedback guides each decision that we make and is behind everything from new attractions, to hotels, to restaurants, to products and shopping experiences. But what we hear from literally millions of our guests is that they want more ways to experience their favorite stories, more ways to personalize their visit, and more experiences that only Disney can provide. Like the recently opened Star Wars Galaxy's Edge right here at Disneyland Park. I think it's safe to say that this new land has set the bar for immersive experiences and is one of the most ambitious projects in the history of Disney Parks. At Galaxy's Edge, you can live your very own Star Wars story. And since the opening in May, visitors to Batuu have made this planet a new home for some of the most exciting adventures in the galaxy. We've literally seen tears of joy from fans who waited their entire lives to be part of the Star Wars universe. We've seen screams of excitement as guests took the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy for a spin. And we've seen moments of incredible emotion from thousands of people who hand built their very own lightsaber with a little help from an expert guide and of course, the Force. But you certainly don't have to take my word from it. Let's hear from some of the very first visitors to Batu. <laughs> Star Wars Galaxy Edge. I don't even have words. I'm like speechless. I'm like, I, 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 uh, uh. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. This is the coolest thing ever. This is the most beautiful man-made place I've made. Magical looks good. I'm so overwhelmed. Unbelievable. We would never even think that this would be possible. This is everything that you really wanted. Like, this is the best. I'm so excited. It's amazing. I got emotional so actually walking into the park. I can't believe I'm standing where I'm standing. I feel like I'm in a whole new galaxy. It's insane to actually be standing here right now. Ray is amazing. My girls look up to her. The ships are amazing. That's the big thing is it's like, oh my gosh, 
These are real, you feel like you're in the movie. This is honestly the most emotional moment probably in my life. And just seeing this, like that's, this is unreal. When you walk around that bank and the Millennium Park is just like straight in your face and you're like, wow, like this is, this is real life. This, that is the Millennium Park. Just seeing it in person, it just brought chills to me, tears to my eyes. It was, it's beautiful. Never in a million years would have thought this was ever possible. It's a dream come true for me. Thank you to everyone who made this child's dream a reality. <laughs> So I have to tell you that just like those guests, I get emotional every time I walk at the Galaxy's Edge. Especially when I see the reactions of the people for the very first time when they see the Millennium Falcon. It's such a special moment. But those reactions and the memories that they inspire are why we do what we do. And of course, we've built not one, but two of these incredible lands. And in just a few days, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will open at Walt Disney World. So with that in mind, I wanted to share a new look at this amazing land, including some never-before-seen footage from Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. where it all began for the Walt Disney Company. Animation. Disney's animated stories have really been the inspiration for some of our most iconic attractions and our celebrations. From classics like Snow White, which opened on opening day one here at Disneyland, to new favorites like Toy Story and Frozen. So let's take a trip around the world to learn about the next generation of animated stories that we are bringing to life starting right here at Disneyland. So as you may know, we recently brought the Main Street Electrical Parade back for a limited time. And so I thought it would just only be appropriate to start our announcements by telling you about an all-new parade. An all-new parade that will soon be going down the middle of Main Street, USA. It's called Magic Happens. And, and it celebrates awe-inspiring moments of magic that are at the heart of so many Disney stories. It features stunning floats, beautiful costumes, and beloved Disney characters from Moana, Coco, Sleeping Beauty, and more, all led by Mickey Mouse and the Gang. It's a perfect mix of classic, and new stories for every generation. And this new parade comes alive with an energetic musical score and a brand new song produced in partnership with singer-songwriter Todrick Hall. <laughs> now you're not going to have to wait too long to see this new daytime spectacular because it's coming to Disneyland this spring. So I'm just going to guess that maybe that's even spring's not so far away. It still might be a too long of a wait for some of you. 
So I thought maybe we'll get our blood pumping with a little sneak peek. And to help us, we have a very special guest, recording artist and actor, Jordan Fisher. Take it away, Jordan. everyone's favorite pals, Mickey and Minnie. So, all right, so last D23 Expo, we announced that the first ever Mickey Mouse Ride Through Attraction was coming to Walt Disney World. And as you all know, we're building another one right here at Disneyland. So these attractions feature an original story that takes you on a journey through the unpredictable world of Disney Channel's Mickey Mouse cartoon shorts. And with the help of some state-of-the-art technology, you'll step through the movie screen and join Mickey, Minnie, and their friends as you become part of the story. Now, we've said that this attraction will be coming to Disneyland's Toontown, and today I'm thrilled to share our first look at what the exterior of that will look like in this amazing addition to the special part of the park. Now the action takes place at the El Capitoon Theater at Disneyland, where Mickey and Minnie are premiering their newest short, Perfect Picnic. And before guests enter the cinema, they'll experience a special exhibit created by the Toontown Hysterical Society, 
featuring costumes and props from the Toon world. And then the adventure begins. This is a new look at the inside of the attraction at Walt Disney World, and as you can see, our Imagineers are hard at work. Now, I was just in Orlando a couple weeks ago, and I gotta tell you, this attraction is gonna be so much fun with a stunning surprise twist that I definitely will not spoil here. <coughs> but what we will show you is a first look at the updated Chinese theater that will be home to this fun-filled adventure. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will open at Disney's Hollywood Studios next year and at Disneyland in 2022. So while Mickey and Minnie make their ride through attraction debut here at home, we're also bringing more of our animated stories to our parks around the world. When it opened up in China, Zootopia instantly became one of the country's most popular animated films. And we're bringing it to life at Shanghai Disney Resort in a big way by creating a home for Judy, Nick, Flash, and the entire gang. In what will be the resort's eighth themed land, Guests will experience the mammalian metropolis of Zootopia where anyone can be anything. In addition to the entertainment, merchandise and dining options that can only be found in Zootopia. Guests will experience a new major attraction that blends storytelling and state-of-the-art technology to bring this film to life. There'll be much more to come on this soon. But now I don't know about you, but every time I see one of our castles, I get those, you know, those Disney chills, which is why I'm so excited about this next announcement. The expansion and the transformation of Hong Kong's Disneyland Castle. <laughs> into an even more spectacular, fitting, and iconic and unique centerpiece for this incredible park. Now this castle is going to be unlike any other because it's not inspired by a Disney princess, but instead 13 Disney heroines. Our Imagineers incorporated their stories throughout the design from the turrets featuring images like Snow White's Apple, Cinderella's Coach, and Belle's Rose to original artwork and sculpture. The castle will also become a canvas of sorts for new entertainment, including a daytime show and a nighttime spectacular, and be home to a brand new Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And today, I'm pleased to announce that this new icon will be called the Castle of Magical Dreams. <laughs> so in addition to the castle, we've announced a new immersive frozen theme land is coming to Hong Kong Disneyland. Soon guests will be able to visit the Kingdom of Arendelle with all of its sights, sounds, cuisines, and traditions. And this area will be home not to one, but to two attractions. First, a one-of-a-kind coaster that takes you on a winding journey through Arendelle. It's called Wandering Oaken's Sliding Slaves. <laughs> and your journey begins when you visit Oaken's infamous store. You'll then be helped by Olaf and Sven as they pull your sled to the top of the lift and send you on your way. Now, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Frozen Ever After, the popular attraction at Epcot. Well, we're excited to bring it to Hong Kong as well. Well, guests will be able to see Elsa create a beautiful winter and summer day. Our journey now takes us to Walt Disney World. <laughs> Where soon an all new show will premiere at the theater at Disney Springs. It will be a live performance unlike any other. That's because for the very first time, Walt Disney Imagineering Walt Disney Animation Studios have joined forces with Cirque du Soleil <laughs> to create a show that combines Disney storytelling and heart with Cirque's unique artistry and theatrical sensibility. So to tell us more, please welcome David Lightbody, the head of Disney Parks Live Entertainment, Eric Goldberg, one of Walt Disney Animation Studios' legacy animators, and the writer and director of the show from Cirque du Soleil, Michel Lepris. Thank 
you. Thank you, Bob, and good morning, everyone. For the last few years, our teams at Imagineering and Animation have been working together on our first ever collaboration with Cirque du Soleil to create an all-new show inspired by Disney Animation. And today, you're all going to get a first look at what we've been creating. Now, many of you are familiar with the ways our live entertainment team has partnered with animation in the past to bring uh, characters and stories to life through spectaculars, parades, and stage shows at Disney parks across the world. And when given the opportunity to collaborate with an entertainment industry world leader such as Cirque du Soleil, well, we jumped at the chance. Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about how this project began? Absolutely, David. This is destiny. You know the line of Gemini Cricket, when you wish upon a star? You know that line? Well, three years ago, a friend of mine gave me a book. It was a biography of Walt Disney. And I read it, and I loved it, and I made one wish that one day we would create at Cirque du Soleil a show about the art of animation. Now, just a few days later, our friends at Disney called us and said, would you like to create a show, uh, a new show in Orlando, and could you integrate Disney characters? That so we said like, yes. Yeah. Sounds like perfect timing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, I've found that some of our Disney's most compelling, uh, Disney's most compelling experiences have come together when we explore combining different art forms. So, how did you think about blending Cirque du Soleil's incredible tradition of acrobatic storytelling with Disney animation? We started, as we always do, with research. So, we wanted to understand the process of animation and feel it and to understand also why an image of, let's say, 1928 can still be alive and literally eternal. And we visited. We visited parks, Disney parks, like you guys, right? The Walt Disney Family Museum. And the Disney archives, and of course, the Disney Animation Studio, where we got to work directly with animators and when we met Eric, we were immediately inspired by the way he works. You make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it really sounds like you completely immersed yourself in Disney and our animation, and I know this is going to be completely reflected in the final production. Uh, Eric, it must have been a really interesting first meeting. Can, what has it been like being part of this project? It has been an absolutely wonderful, extraordinary collaboration. Uh, first of all, we've had several meetings with the CERT team uh, with our animator trust, if you will, kind of the people at the studio who know the most about the legacy. And we got to suggest certain Disney iconic moments uh, that will help them tell their story. We're also creating brand new animation sequences for the show, and get this, the animated characters will interact with the live performers. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'm a complete geek, so if, if anyone says, hey, let's animate Baloo, or how about the genie, I'm there, pencil sharpened. <laughs> Imagine, we got to sit for hours with Eric and we'd watch him work and create and it was amazing to see that moment when the life happens in the drawings it's just like in an acrobat's body the powerful life and it made us realize that animation is physical it's very visceral it's amazing uh, eric what have you enjoyed most about working with Cirque du Soleil? i admire how the team really came to us and, and try to understand what we do, how we do it, and really what makes Disney animation special and unique. They also took the time to get to know us personally, and I hope that was a positive influence on the show. <laughs> Very much so. We looked at animators like performers, the way they perform, the way they, they, they create, 
like if they were acrobats. I say acrobats, but sometimes they act like clowns. Anybody you have in mind in particular? Uh, let me think about it. Uh, as our D23 audience knows, another integral part of live shows and spectaculars is the role that music plays. And this show is absolutely no exception. Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely, David. The Disney music is very dear to all of us, right? It's inside our hearts. So what we're doing this time, for the first time, our composer, Benoit Jutra, is composing a brand new original Cirque du Soleil music that integrates Disney themes and melodies. So it will trigger the memories in our hearts and it will make a very strong connection with the audience. Absolutely, and I, I can tell you from the selections I've heard so far, the music is going to be incredible, really extraordinary. Um, Michelle, can you share just a little something about the story? Um, yes, well since we're just the 7,000 of us, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting. We came up with a story where the Disney characters are central to the life of a young girl and her father, who was a Disney animator. And he raised her with those characters. And at the beginning of the show, what I can say is that he finds a way to send her on a magical journey of self-discovery in the world of animation. That's all I can say. And I have to say, this is a very personal project for me. Uh, so much of what Michelle and the team developed resonates with me. My wife Susan and I raised two daughters with animation and art in the household. You know, so it's very near and dear to me, and I get a little fuck just thinking about it. <laughs> Well, I think we should leave it there. Thank okay. you, Eric. Thank you, Michelle. And thank you to all the incredible folks who are making this show a reality. Thank you all. Thank you, David, Michelle, and Eric. So this new show is going to be one of the most touching we've ever created. And it will be for the entire family. This unforgettable new show will begin previews on March 20th, 2020, leading up to its world premiere on April 17th, and we could not be more excited. Now, speaking of collaborations, I want to talk about one more that will bring Disney magic even closer to all of your homes. You know, whether it's an action figure, t-shirt, or plush, our products are actually a big part of the Disney experience. And as I said earlier, we spent a lot of time listening to what our guests want. And one of the things that we've consistently heard and uh, consistently seen this weekend is that you want more ways to access high quality Disney merchandise. The exact kind of products that are available at our Disney stores. But we also know that not everybody has a Disney store in their backyard. So we found a way to bring that magic closer to you. And to tell you more, I'd like to welcome the CEO of Target, Brian Cornell. Brian? Thank you, Bob. First, I have to say what a thrill it is to be here with you today. This is my first time at the D23 Expo. And to be part of this moment with all of you is incredibly special. I spent a lot of time in Southern California as a kid. So I don't have to tell you what it felt like to step into Disneyland for the very first time. And then share the magic with my kids. And now, Bob, I get to share it with my grandkids all over again. At Target, our team has one purpose, and that's helping families discover a little bit of joy in everyday life. And I can't imagine a better brand to do that with than Disney. Helping share that Disney magic with millions and millions of families who visit Target each week. And we're doing it in a whole new way. Let's take a look.
say something magical is happening at Target. In October, we'll open up Disney store shopping shops inside 25 Target stores around the country and 40 more Target stores by October of next year. In these special, in these special locations, you'll find fun, Instagrammable moments and interactive content, and of course, an assortment of high quality Disney store products all in one place, Brian. Our designers spent months working with our partners at Disney to create a retail experience for fans and families. Unlike anything you've ever seen at a Target store before. We're also building a new Disney experience on Target.com and our mobile channels, where guests can find Disney store products and have it delivered to their home or pick it up at one of our stores. And finally, we're excited to be bringing Target to Disney with a new Target opening right near Walt Disney World Resort. All right, that's terrific. But now before you go, I believe, Brian, that you might have brought a special guest who might have a special treat for everyone here. We do. Say hello to Bullseye, everyone. Bob and I know that there's a lot of collectors here today. So we thought it'd be fun to design a collectible D23 Expo exclusive Target gift card for everyone in the audience today. We've preloaded each card with $10. And one of those gift cards is good for a $2,300 shopping spree at Target. You'll be able to pick them up on your way out, along with a very special souvenir from Bullseye. And don't worry about figuring out who got that big gift. You'll know. Brian and the Target team, especially you, Bullseye, for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Bullseye. All right, coming back to our parks, I could not be more excited to share these next announcements, which are all about the next immersive lands coming to Disneyland Paris and Disneyland California Adventure. All right, so we've already shrunk you down to the size of a toy. We brought you to the edge of the galaxy. And now we're going to give you superpowers. There was an idea. See if they could become something more. characters was created by comic book artists and storytellers, including the great Stan Lee. And Stan left us with an amazing legacy. Stan was truly an original and he's deeply missed. 
And so before we get into the lands inspired by these stories, I want to share a project that celebrates 80 years of incredible Marvel storytelling. It's the Disney Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel at Disneyland Paris. So we're collaborating with artists from both Marvel Comics and Marvel Studios to feature more than 300 curated works of art throughout the hotel, including some never before seen pieces. Theme suites will be dedicated to characters like Spider-Man. And, and we'll celebrate iconic heroes throughout the entire room. And guests will also have the opportunity to meet these legendary heroes. This reimagined hotel will offer a new way to connect Marvel art and characters, and we're excited to share with our guests next summer. But now on to the experiences that will put you at the center of the action like never before. We're creating immersive superhero lands at Disneyland Paris and Disney California Adventure that will be unlike any other. Now they're actual campuses set up by the Avengers to recruit the next generation of superheroes. So these campuses are going to be linked together in a global story, which you're going to hear about shortly. But first, let's take a look at a few of the amazing experiences that will put you right in the middle of the Avengers universe. Starting with the first ever Spider-Man themed attraction at a Disney park. <laughs> Through a combination of classic effects and innovative technologies, guests will be able to sling webs, just like Spider-Man, in an interactive, totally cool, but family-friendly adventure. But once you've worked out the appetite from all that web slinging, you can head over to the Pim Test Kitchen. Because we've seen how Ant-Man and the Wasp use pin particles, right, to either grow or shrink just about anything. Well, guess what? In this kitchen, Pim Technologies is using them to grow and shrink food. It's going to be a lot of fun. And for the first time ever, these campuses will give you a chance to meet Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> Along with many of your favorite superheroes. And to tell you more about these experiences and that story that connects these adventure campuses around the world, please welcome Creative Executive Scott Drake. Thanks, Bob. Hello, D23. I am proud to be leading a global team of Imagineers bringing this amazing universe to life. And we couldn't be more excited to share it with you today. Not only are we creating immersive lands, attractions, and character experiences around the world, we are also crafting an interconnected story to tie them all together. We know the Avengers originally assembled when Nick Fury had the idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to protect the Earth. And for years, they defended us. But then Hydra attacked the Stark Expo at Hong Kong Disneyland, which is home to the Iron Man experience and the Ant-Man and Wasp nano battle. And then Thanos invaded our planet and the, Earth realized, or the Avengers realized the Earth needs more heroes. Now they are inviting all of us for the first time to join their ranks. In some ways, these campuses are like the Avengers themselves, a group of diverse individuals who have teamed up for the same purpose. This collection of unique addresses, each dedicated to a different discipline, have been brought together, the next gener brought together to champion the next generation of heroes. All of you. Our first key address is the Worldwide Engineering Brigade. It's a little bit of a mouthful, so the kids just call it WEB for short. Web is an organization where young genius inventors have gathered to create technologies that can give everyday people superpowers. It's a brand new organization our Imagineering team has developed, partnering closely with the creators behind the comics and the films to, in to introduce Web into this epic universe. As you can tell by the name, Web will be home to our incredible Spider-Man experience. Yes, yes. It just so happens that Peter Parker is one of the many aspiring inventors at Web, And you'll get to experience some of the cool new tech that he and his friends are working on. 
We will be welcome to an open house where the kids are excited to invite us for a test drive of their latest invention, the Web Slinger Vehicle, which allows anyone to sling webs, just like Peter's buddy, Spider-Man. And of course, Spider-Man will be there himself to show us how it's done. Peter has also been working on these adorable little spider bots. Unfortunately, they are not ready for prime time at all. Smack in the middle of the open house excitement, the spider bots start glitching, replicating themselves over and over again, and escape out into the campus. Now Peter needs our help. Our help. Our test drive of the web slinger vehicle instead turns into a real mission where we must work alongside Spider-Man to web up all these bots. A lot of excitement ensues, I guarantee it. And Spider-Man isn't the only hero you'll encounter on campus. Those of you interested in the mystic arts can learn from the Sorcerer Supreme himself, Dr. Strange, and explore the ruins of a mysterious California sanctum. Around the campus, you'll encounter Black Widow, Star-Lord, Gamora, Groot, and visiting from Wakanda, Black Panther, and the Dora Milaje. Thor will also be visiting from Asgard, and keep an eye out, because you never know when his nefarious brother Loki will show up. Wherever the Avengers go, trouble tends to follow, so you can expect to see plenty of exciting action. And as these heroes assemble from across time and space, you'll also be able to meet the one who started it all. That's right, Iron Man. We know that this universe is all about these incredible characters, and we're going to bring them to life in extraordinary ways and put you right in the middle of the action throughout all of these immersive lands. And with that, I'll turn it back to Bob. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Stop right there, boys. All right, so these campuses will be filled, as you've heard, with action and adventure. But there's one more big announcement to complete the story. At Disney California Adventure, right here, the Avengers Campus will be home not only to the Spider-Man experience and Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, but a brand new e-ticket attraction. Now we've already given you a glimpse of the Avengers headquarters, but opening as part of the second phase of development will be an all new adventure that put guests, or should I say, all of you recruits, into a test to thrilling experience alongside the Avengers. And for the very first time, we all get to step aboard a Quinjet. fly to Wakanda and beyond. But when you're around the Avengers, nothing really goes according to plan, so we'll find ourselves caught up in an even bigger adventure, one where we all have to step up, suit up, and team up. Alongside the Avengers in an epic battle to save our world, against one of the most powerful villains they have ever faced. Now, to create something of this magnitude, our Imagineers are hard at work conceiving an all-new, innovative ride system to put you in the middle of the action. And as Nick Fury said, you become a part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. This new attraction will be part of Phase 2, but Phase 1 will open in Anaheim next year. Now this new Avengers initiative is just one example of the ambition that's defining our approach to the next generation of Disney experiences. You know, we're inspired every day by Walt's spirit of reinvention. And that motivation is behind one of our most ambitious projects yet. From the beginning, Epcot has pushed the limits of possibility. It began as a place that would always be in the state of becoming. Through the years, it's transformed, evolved, and today, it is a place 
whereby the power of human imagination and the magic of Disney, the very idea of what's possible, is on the brink of a new age. Imagine an epoch that inspires us all to see and do more. Come with us and discover the magic that happens when real worlds are made fantastic. When curiosity leads to discovery. When people connect and share the stories that make us, us. Where Disney storytelling invites you into a world of new possibilities. So we know from our guests that there's a lot to love about the current park, but we've also heard loud and clear that they want more attractions for the whole family. More of their favorite stories, and yes, even more shade. <laughs> you know, Walt said that Epcot would always be in the state of becoming. A place that changed with the times, the technology, and with its guests. So it was with that idea and all of our guest feedback that we began to envision what will be the biggest transformation of any park we've ever accomplished. We're infusing this incredible place with more ways to dream, with more ways to be inspired, and to connect the world than ever before. This is what Epcot will become. It's a park that will be more Disney, more family, more timeless, and more relevant to the millions of guests that visit us each year. But now before we get into the details, I'd like to introduce the Imagineer at the forefront of all of this work, Zach Ridley, who leads the Walt Disney World Imagineering team. Zach. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Wow, this audience. It's even better with people, I love it. Well, welcome. Uh, first, welcome, D23, and welcome to all of our Epcot fans. Let me hear you. You know, Epcot is a park founded on bold ideas, a place inspired by Walt's vision, place created and recreated by generations of Imagineers, a place that is iconic and inspirational and unique. It is a truly original concept, one that we at Walt Disney Imagineering are excited to take to a whole new level as we embark on the next chapter in Epcot's journey. For so many of us, including me, Epcot has deep personal meaning. These are a couple of slightly embarrassing photos of my first visit to Epcot. And I can remember being amazed by fruit that could sing, spiraling journeys through time and space, undersea cities, and a little purple dragon singing about of inspiration. So these moments were Powerful, but they aren't what truly connected me to Epcot. Instead, what stuck with me are the ideals that Epcot embodies most. The power of hope, the power of possibility, and the power of 
wonder. And that's really what this transformation is all about. Our team at Imagineering is creating experiences that bring these ideas to life in ways that will resonate with guests of this and every generation. Updating classic attractions so they connect with our global audience in deeper, more meaningful ways. And transforming physical spaces throughout the park to ensure every inch of this place comes alive with imagination. Everything that we are doing is rooted in Epcot's legacy of authenticity and innovation. And our goal is for Epcot to continue to inspire guests in meaningful ways. To be a place that brings people of all ages from all over the world together to dream. To explore our curiosity. To discover the wonders of our world. And to imagine the future that we can create together. My personal goal for our work is to inspire the next generation of children who visit this park the way that I was inspired nearly 35 years ago. With that, I'd like to hand it back to Bob to share more about this epic transformation. Thank you, Zach. So Epcot's transformation starts at the highest level. Our Imagineers have developed a new way to think about the park unifying it with four neighborhoods that each speak to important aspects of our world. Now, of course, you all know and love World Showcase, and that will continue to celebrate the culture, cuisine, architecture, and traditions from around the world. Where Future World currently stands, three new neighborhoods will spring up each celebrating a unique aspect of what makes Epcot special. World nature, world discovery, and world celebration. It's in world celebration where some of our biggest changes will occur. We are transforming this space with new experiences that connect guests to Epcot's unique DNA. And most importantly, to each other. And that all starts when you first enter the gates. We've returned iconic elements like an updated version of Epcot's original fountain while adding greenery to beautify the entryway. And as always, Spaceship Earth will remain the park's grand icon. You, you know, since the very beginning, Spaceship Earth has stood for the ideas and values that represent Epcot and told the story of humanity through great moments of courage, creativity, and discovery. And there's simply nothing else like it. And so we couldn't even think about an Epcot of the future without putting a little bit of new magic into this Epcot original. The new Spaceship Earth will still feature great moments of human history. But instead of inventions and technology, we'll focus on something that binds all of humanity together, storytelling. Many of the scenes you know and love will remain, but we'll bring them to life in amazing new ways. We're also adding new scenes to reflect the universal nature of the human experience. And in addition to the fresh narration, you'll have a new guide. In each moment of your journey, you'll follow a magical light that we call our story light, which will play a central role in the experience. The story light will come to life in dynamic ways, giving each scene energy and stunning beauty while creating a narrative that ties your journey together. Spaceship Earth has stood for 37 years as an icon of Epcot, Walt Disney World, and the Walt Disney Company. And we are excited to evolve this unique attraction in a way that will resonate with the wide array of guests who visit Walt Disney World. Now, as you leave Spaceship Earth through a newly designed exit space, you'll come to one of the most breathtaking views of any of our parks. You'll look out at a completely transformed Epcot with sweeping views as far as World Showcase. And we call this Dreamer's Point because Epcot encourages all of us to dream together. And we thought there would be no better place to feature a new statue of our founder, Walt Disney. <laughs> You all know that Epcot was Walt's dream, and we imagine him along with us 
looking out from this very spot. Now, continuing your journey through world celebration, you'll explore gardens that'll pique your curiosity and give you opportunities to engage with your surroundings. A wishing tree that comes to life in surprising ways. A story fountain that celebrates the power and music of iconic Disney storytelling. And a pavilion that's the perfect place for live events, which have become the home base for Epcot's signature festivals. It features a plaza level, a mid-expo level, and a park that sits in the sky with a perfect vantage point for all of our new nighttime spectaculars. This beautiful structure will have one of the most unique designs at any of our parks and will fast become a new icon for Epcot. Now let's visit World Discovery, where stories about science, technology, and now intergalactic adventure come to life. And as you know, we're developing a Guardians of the Galaxy themed attraction that, that will be the first other world showcase pavilion at Epcot. The adventure starts in the Galaxarium, a planetarium-like presentation that will take you from Earth to the planet Xandar and back. Then you'll all be invited to board a Nova ship to see our world from space. But of course, when the Guardians of the Galaxy show up, you can soon sure, be sure that adventure will soon follow. Now we've already announced this attraction will feature an invention, right? Remember the story? telling poster that rotates to focus on where the action is? But what we didn't tell you is that poster will also feature our first ever reverse launch into space. It's going to be awesome. And I'm happy to announce that the name of this blockbuster attraction will be Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. So as long as we're talking about space, let's talk about another offering coming to World Discovery. We're expanding Mission Space Pavilion to include a new restaurant that's going to be, well, out of this world. Guests will board a unique elevator for a journey to connect to a space station. And all along the way, viewports will give you real-time looks at where you've been and where you're headed. And once you arrive, you'll dine while taking in the views from the station including Earth, as seen from day and night from 220 miles high above Epcot. And that height is the inspiration behind the name of this one-of-a-kind restaurant, which is called Space 220. So we know you're going to love this immersive new dining experience, which will be operated by the Patina Restaurant Group, the same folks behind Tutto Italia, and via Napoli in World Showcase. Departures are scheduled starting this winter. <laughs> now we previously announced that the pavilion that once housed the wonders of life would be transformed into a place celebrating the power of play. In this digital metropolis called Play Pavilion, you'll discover an interactive city bursting with experience, games, and activities that connect you with your friends, family, and some of your favorite characters. You can use your creative skills to help the legendary fashion icon Edna Mode on her quest to rid the world of uninspired style <laughs> and make a splash competing in an epic water balloon fight hosted by our favorite Disney ducks, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby. You'll meet and play with Disney friends, both real and virtual, like never before. And this experience will be open in time for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. And we certainly can't wait for you to experience all that World Discovery has to offer. Now let's jump to World Nature, which is dedicated to understanding and preserving that balance of our natural world. And we have two new offerings in this special part of the park. First, the Land Pavilion's new film, Awesome Planet, which showcases the beauty, diversity, and dynamic story of Earth, will start welcoming guests in January of 2020. Second, as we announced at the start of D23 Expo, we're adding an all-new experience to world nature, the journey of water. 
It's a lush, Moana-inspired exploration trail that allows guests to meet and play with magical living water. Here, water has a life and a mind of its own, just like Moana's friend, the ocean. And in keeping with Epcot's tradition as a place where guests can discover the world, you'll learn all about the importance of the natural water cycle. Our last neighborhood is World Showcase, where we're bringing new magic to several of our pavilions, starting with China. Our Imagineers are creating an all-new Circle Vision presentation that will be filmed and shown for the very first time in a completely seamless digital 360-degree digital format, and we're calling it Wondrous China. And speaking of films, I'm excited to announce that Canada Far and Wide and Circle Vision 360 will debut in January of 2020. And that features new scenes and a whole new story. Now our next update is the France Pavilion, which is already a fan favorite, but will soon also become a family favorite. At Destination D, we announced that the Pavilion Theater will now present a double feature when Impressions de France will be joined by a new film for the entire family. A Beauty and the Beast sing-along that will have everyone singing to their favorite songs while enjoying a comedic twist to this tale as old as time. And we invite you to be our guest when this new film debuts in January of 2020. And also coming to the France Pavilion will be Remy. Of course, the culinary king of Paris with Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Now, this attraction will be situa situated in an entirely new area of the pavilion. And inside, guests will shrink down to the size of Remy and then race through Gusteau's famous restaurant on a wild adventure. And today, we can announce that Remy's Ratatouille Adventure will be ready to serve up fun in the summer of 2020. Okay, so I'm going to guess that this journey through a French kitchen might have worked up a little bit of an appetite. So to help curb your cravings, we're going to bring a classic French favorite to the pavilion. The Creperie de Paris will start serving in time for summer of 2020 and will offer both table and quick service options. All brought to you by the culinary team behind the Chef de France. And while we're in this part of the park, I wanted to share how excited we are for the Disney Skyliner to welcome its first guest in just a few weeks. At Epcot, the Skyliner will deliver guests right to the park's International Gateway entrance. And on this all-new system, which will connect four hotels to Disney's Hollywood Studios and to Epcot, guests will travel through the skies with some of their favorite characters to their destination. Now this opens on September 29th, and it's going to add a whole new layer of magic to Walt Disney World. And while we're still at Walt World Showcase, I have one more big announcement. You know, in fact, it's so big, I don't think I can make it alone. Is there anyone in the house that can help me?
it's so great to have you here. Thank you. I wouldn't be anywhere else right now. Oh. <laughs> we wouldn't let you be anywhere else. You know, Dick, we all love Mary Poppins, uh, 65 years. Why do you think it continues to mean so much to so many people? Did after you just say 65 years? <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> well, you, uh, the story, of course, Poplar was great. The music the guys wrote, I'll never forget. And the dancing numbers. But you know, I think what made it was Uncle Walt. <laughs> Walt was on it. I always said, Walt Disney was a creative genius who looked at the world through a child's eyes. And that's what affected him. He'd come on the set every day and try to bring out the child in us. That sense of wonder and everything. And it all worked. I think that's, that's the magic. And I, I'd do it all over again right now. Oh. I hate to see it Well, certainly Walt is at the center of Disney DNA. And I have to say, Dick, that you're at the center of Disney DNA as well. And on behalf of all the fans here, I want to thank you for bringing joy to generations of our fans and families. And thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. George. If you refresh your temperature, why is it in the <laughs> I'm sure by now you've guessed that we're bringing Mary Poppins to Epcot. The United Kingdom Pavilion will be home to the first ever Mary Poppins attraction in a Disney theme park. And as Mary would say, can you imagine that? Based on the Disney Mary Poppins film, Cherry Tree Lane will soon join the UK Pavilion as an entirely new neighborhood. You'll be able to step down Cherry Tree Lane past Admiral Boom's home and then enter number 17, the home of the Banks family, where your adventure begins. Now we'll share more as this project develops, but we love, know that you're gonna love stepping into this magical world for the first time. And of course, one of the reasons people love Mary Poppins is the music. And the same can be said of the park that it will soon call home. In fact, music has always been a defining feature of Epcot. The park has a unique voice, a legacy of original melodies that brings emotion, memories, and thrills to generations of fans. And we're excited to celebrate that legacy and bring it forward in some new ways. So as we announced at Destination D last year, an all new limited time, nighttime spectacular celebrating the music and moments of Epcot will debut this October. Epcot Forever will take us on a journey through the past, present, and future through a stirring collection of songs. Let's take a look at a sneak peek. Soaring the tower, we are ready for takeoff. bigger musical celebration that we have on the horizon. Now we're working on a new nighttime spectacular, celebrating the power of music to unite and inspire people across borders and across generations through a shared love of Disney music and storytelling. 
And I'm excited to announce that this new show will be called Harmonious. This will be the largest nighttime spectacular in our history. A grand project worthy of our ambitious plans for Epcot. And Harmonious will debut in World Showcase Lagoon in 2020. So as I said before, Epcot has a unique musical voice, right? We all know that. And throughout the years, we've collaborated with composers and songwriters from across the globe to bring this voice to life. And we are continuing that tradition as part of Epcot's transformation, as our Imagineers dream up a new musical anthem for Epcot. And we couldn't think of a more perfect audience to hear the world premiere of this new anthem. Now, to make this very special moment happen, I'd like to introduce the composer of this stunning new piece of music, Pinar Toprak. Pinar's musical voice has helped set the tone from everything from superhero films like Captain Marvel to a Pixar short. And we are thrilled that she is working with us to create Epcot's new anthem. Pinar. Thank you, Bob. Music has a unique superpower, the ability to make you feel, to inspire hope, optimism, and possibility. Those are the ideas Epcot was founded on, and I'm honored to contribute to the long legacy of original music that has defined this park. Join me as we usher in the next era in Epcot's musical journey.
Wow, wasn't that wonderful? Now, many of the changes that are coming to Epcot will be ready in time for what will be the biggest celebration Walt Disney World has ever seen. It's 50th anniversary. And as you all know, anniversaries are some pretty serious fun here at Disney Parks. And Walt Disney World's 50th will be no exception. But in the past, we focused our magical milestone celebrations at the Magic Kingdom Park. But this time, we're bringing the party to each one of our four parks. In addition to the attractions that we've already announced that will be ready in time for this big milestone, we're also celebrating with special food, beverage, merchandise, entertainment, and more. There's never been more to do at Walt Disney World. And as I said earlier, we believe that every moment with us should be magical, which is why we've introduced new ways to give you more time to enjoy the fun. Now, our guests, all of you, tell us that you love the convenience of Magic Bands, My Disney Experience, and Mobile Order. But today, we're going to announce a revolutionary new digital offering that will change the way that guests plan and experience for a trip to Walt Disney World. It's called Disney Genie. <laughs> Disney Genie has capabilities that can help make the most out of your visit, whether you're a first time guest or a seasoned pro. It will put customized itineraries geared towards your interest at your fingertips, cutting down on the need to plan and research. How about a royal princess themed day at Magic Kingdom? Or maybe a trip around the world at Epcot with four foodies? Or even a perfect day for thrill seekers? And maybe you even know exactly what you want to do, but don't know exactly when you want to do it. Just tell Disney Genie what you want to experience for the day, and it will quickly evaluate millions of options to present you with an optimal plan. And best of all, it's all flexible. If you change your wish for any reason during the day, Disney Genie will help re-optimize your day. It will even send you real-time tips and updates, including recommendations for experiences that it thinks you'll love. And for those who don't want to worry about making dining and fast pass reservations in multiple steps, Genie will take care of it for you. <laughs> Now, because all of you know our park so well, we're going to give some D23 members an opportunity to be amongst the first to experience it at Walt Disney World Resort. In an upcoming D23 e-newsletter and on D23.com, you can learn about an exciting contest for D23 members, so stay tuned. Now, we're planning to debut Disney G at Walt Disney World Resort in late 2020, and we cannot wait. Now, with all this new fun coming to Walt Disney World, we're also creating equally magic hotels and lodging. As we previously announced, Reflections, a Disney Lakeside Lodge, would bring a whole new way to stay at Walt Disney World. And today, we're ready to share more details. This resort hotel and proposed Disney Vacation Club Resort will be a classic country lodge reimagined. It draws its inspiration from the wonders of nature, filled with, through the art and artistry of Walt Disney and the creators and talented Imagineers and animators. You'll find special accommodations like A-frame houses and treehouse suites with all the fixtures furnishings and artwork inspired by Disney nature-based stories. And along the bayous of Bay Lake, you'll find a perfect setting for a table service restaurant inspired by none other than Princess and the Frog. So this will be one of the most unique resorts we've ever built and we'll have more to share soon. Now, speaking of unique, you're about to learn more about what will perhaps be the most immersive experience we've ever imagined. So a little bit earlier I said I was going to talk a little bit more about Star Wars. And I don't know, maybe some of you visited our pavilion on the show floor. 
and may have seen a model of a ship that's going to take you on a two-night Star Wars experience like none other? Well, we first announced this project the last time we were here in Anaheim. We're ready to give you details on Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, which will immerse you and your fellow travelers in that galaxy far, far away. Your vessel is the Halcyon, a glamorous starliner. And once on board, you'll cruise to the galaxy for two days and two nights while becoming the hero of your very own Star Wars adventure. And as with any cruise, your fellow guests will board and depart together. But unlike most cruises, every experience, from dining to unique activities, are part of an immersive Star Wars story. Throughout your journey, you'll be invited to delve deeper into the adventure by interacting with the characters, crew, and the passengers you meet and become part of the action that unfolds all around you. Now, to tell us more about this unique experience, please welcome executive producer and creative director for Walt Disney Imagining, Ann Morrow Johnson. Well, hi there, D23. My name is Ann Morrow. And over the past couple of years, the crew and I have been preparing the Halcyon for your arrival. We want to create a cruise experience that everyone can enjoy. Whether that means kicking back and watching the stars drift by, or diving in to every action-packed activity on board. It's the perfect vacation for those with a sense of adventure. I'm so excited to share more about the two-night two itinerary. So let me walk you through what you might find on board. What do you think? Should we go on a space cruise? All right. Your adventure begins at Walt Disney World when you check in at the terminal for your departure day. You and your crew are then invited into a launch pod that blasts you off into space. And through the window above, you'll see stars whooshing by until you see the star cruiser in the distance. It gets closer and closer until you connect up with the Halcyon. And then, you know those great Star Wars doors? They open with a <laughs> And you emerge into the atrium beyond. Here, you spend the next two days and two nights living on board the spaceship. And everything, from an alien crew to the fact that absolutely every window has a view out into space. This, of course, includes the one in your well-appointed cabin. We hope you'll enjoy the ever-changing vistas as the ship progresses from place to place. Throughout your journey, you'll share your adventures with some interesting characters, some of whom you'll be meeting for the very first time, and some you may already know. But because this is Star Wars, you might suspect that not all is going to go according to plan, and we must travel with caution. You never know who you may encounter on your adventure. And be wary of who you make allegiances with because the choices you make affect the course of your journey and ultimately determines how your Star Wars story unfolds. As we've mentioned, this immersive experience includes your activities, onboard dining experiences, and most importantly, it is an opportunity to live your multi-day story as it unfolds and interweaves with the crew, other passengers, and those Star Wars characters. And it all connects to your planet excursion, or port day, to Black Spire Outpost on Batu. It also includes some thrilling activities on board the ship. One of the activities that I'm most excited about is that for the first time, both kids and grown-ups alike 
will get to face off against a training remote while wielding a lightsaber. This is like what we saw Luke Skywalker do as he was just learning to use the Force. Speaking of, reaching within and discovering any nascent connection with the Force that you may have could prove valuable. You'll also be invited to visit some of the working portions of the ship, like the bridge. Here, you'll get to learn a bit about the ship's systems, like navigation and defense. You'll even get to try your hand at operating them. And while the Halcyon never anticipates any galactic conflict, these defense skills that you just learned might come in handy later. Just say it. And perhaps you'll even discover some hidden spaces deep in the mechanics of the ship, where secret allegiance members may hold meetings, or where you may just be called upon to become a hero. We're so excited to invite you aboard the Halcyon. She's in a class of her own, a legendary ship with an unparalleled level of service. And although she's had an interesting past, I'm pretty sure her future is going to be even more exciting. We're looking forward to beginning booking soon. But for now, thank you. And may the Force be with you. Thank you, Admiral. That was perfect. So we're hard at work creating this experience, and we can't wait for the Halcyon to wake them. welcome all our first guests. But of course, the Halcyon isn't the only ship we're working on. Since 1998, Disney Cruise Line has brought Disney stories to life with dazzling experiences, amazing entertainment, and world-class service. In fact, there's no better way to be fully immersed in Disney than by taking a voyage with us. And we're so excited that Disney Cruise Line was recently voted the world's best cruise line in its category by le readers of travel and leisure. And of course, we also create some magic off our ships with experiences that are port of call, including our very own Castaway Key. It's one of our most popular destinations, and it was voted top cruise line private island four years in a row by Cruise Critic. Now, as you know, we're adding three new ships to our fleet. And we thought this would be an incredible opportunity to add another unique destination to our ports of call. So we scoured the Bahamas and the Caribbean for an ideal location that would enable us to create all new magic while celebrating the unique culture of this amazing region. And today, I'm beyond excited to officially share the location of this new Disney-owned and managed port of call. It's known as Lighthouse Point to those in the Bahamas and it's found on the breathtaking island of Eleuthero. We are creating a one-of-a-kind destination that aligns with our company's long-standing and deep commitment to the environment, while creating economic opportunity and strengthening the community on the island of Eleuthero. Now, isn't that beautiful? Now, I have to say, we're only able to bring this experience to you thanks to the extraordinary people of the Bahamas, and in particular, the people of Eleuthera. And today, I want to acknowledge two very special guests who helped make this project a reality. The Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, Tourism Minister of the Bahamas, and Joshua Sears, Senior Policy Advisor to the Prime Minister of the Bahamas. Gentlemen. Now, to help imagine our presence on Eleuthera, there was really only one choice. So to help tell us more, please welcome Imagineer Joe Rohde. Good morning, everybody. 
lighthouse point, this lighthouse point site, first of all, is gigantic. Um, and it is so beautiful, so full of nature. We want to focus on preserving that nature and use our designs to call attention to the extraordinary quality of the place itself. If you just look at these pictures of the rock forms that are all along the edge of this island, you can see how this place already has this magic spell all its own. So we're going to create a kind of seaside adventure camp that touches very lightly on the surface of this extraordinary land. We've already begun capturing visual samples of trees, flowers, fish, birds, bugs, shells, sand. Uh, and this is going to become the inspiration for the colors and the patterns in all of our designs. We want to draw attention to the natural beauty of Lighthouse Point and we'll be directly involved in conservation efforts to preserve and protect the environment because that's what creates that beauty. Sharing this story is really important to us. Disney has maintained a 60-year-long commitment to environmental stewardship. We've acted upon it in big and small ways all around the world. The most obvious example being the Disney Conservation Fund, which now has awarded more than $75 million in grants uh, to conservation programs all around the world, including the Bahamas. So the Bahamas is not just a place of stunning natural beauty. There's also a fascinating cultural tradition of food, music, storytelling, dance, and the island of Eleuthera in particular, um, where Lighthouse Point sits, is full of artists. So we'll be working with painters and sculptors, musicians, storytellers, weavers, um, artists of every kind, much like we did with Aulani in Hawaii, uh, to create a completely unique destination that is saturated with the Bahamian culture and then imbued with Disney magic. Just for example, in the Bahamas, there's a traditional celebration. It's called Junkanoo. Junkanoo. It's a seasonal celebration. It happens in the winter. But the people who create the artwork that supports it, they work all year round. And they create these extraordinary, huge, colorful, really, really inventive costumes and floats. So we visited several of their studios to check in, to see what kind of work they were doing. The work's amazing, but what's more incredible is to see the way that their work mirrors exactly the way we work at Imagineering. There is a sense of collaboration, teamwork, um, a clear sense of theme, clever use of materials, a profound awareness, of course, of an audience. So this seems really like a fertile thing to look at. We'll be working with all kinds of artists, uh, including some fine artists with international reputations. But these guys, um, our linchpin is to collaborate with these unsung heroes of, of the art world of the Bahamas, the creators of these amazing Junkanoo costumes. So you can expect like a lot of this vibe at Lighthouse Point. We've been going back and forth for a while. Uh, anybody who looks at Instagram, if you really look carefully, could see. Um, and some of you might know that I occasionally sketch. And I've been leaving a trail of sketches around the Bahamas, just of people, you know, going about their lives, doing their thing, all these real people that we're dealing with, because this project, like Aulani, is about people. I mentioned collaboration already. If this is going to be authentic, then it has to be a collaborative enterprise. It has to be something that we do together with Bahamian artists and thinkers. We've already been discussing ideas with creative leaders there, identifying the best ways for us to come together and share this rich, fascinating culture with our guests. Uh, this is Antonius Roberts on the left, um, and, and Kevin Cooper on the right. Antonius is an internationally recognized master from Nassau. Kevin Cooper is from Eleuthera. They're anchoring our effort to find and enlist the local creative community of artists so that we can bring the best of what we both have to this project and really make it sing. Now, I believe that the spirit of a team infuses the spirit of a project. So this stuff is important, and this team has been really fun to work with. These are great guys. That fun will be passed on to you. And the end result will be a place not like any other. Not a replica of some old Bahamian town, not a pirate fantasy, but a dreamlike landscape of adventure by the sea, where art and nature combine with Disney magic to create a destination that can only exist in one place, here 
at Lighthouse Point. Thank you, Joe. Joe wrote in room. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Joe. Now, while we continue to work with the Bahamas on our plans for Lighthouse Point, our Imagineers are also hard at work creating the next generation of cruise ships. These new ships will have all the experiences that our guests love and all new magic that we're not quite ready to reveal. But as you know, the names of our ships say a lot about who we are as storytellers. Each ship is unique with names that embody the experience of sailing with Disney and the power of our stories. And today, I am so excited to share the name of our fifth ship. But to do it, I'm going to need a little help. Because making wishes come true is part of the Disney DNA and it's at the heart of so many of our stories. Disney magic will be found throughout this new ship, including the three-story atrium that will be inspired by the beauty of an enchanted fairy tale. We're, we've already shared that the Disney wish will be delivered to us in 2021 and I'm thrilled to announce this is an incredible new ship will begin to set sail in January of 2022. Now we have one more exciting announcement about the Disney Wish. You know, stern characters have always been a tradition on the Disney cruise ship since the beginning, as they reflect the theme of each of our vessels. And so for the Disney Wish, we want to feature a character whose story is all about, well, you guessed it, wishing. And so you'll find Rapunzel, <laughs> whose story represents a desire to explore the world. Now, the Disney Wish is appropriately named for another reason. Because, as you know, wish granting is a core part of who we are at Disney. In fact, it's part of Disney's commitment to deliver comfort and inspiration to families with children facing serious illnesses. Now, many of you know that we at Disney have a very close relationship with Make-A-Wish. And since 1980, Disney has helped Make-A-Wish grant more than 130,000 wishes. We were part of the very first wish ever granted and helped grant more than 9,000 wishes every single year. And every wish is special to us, to the community of supporters who make each one come true, but of course to the children and the families that receive them. And, and these wishes help replace fear with confidence, sadness with joy, and anxiety with hope. And they stay with the child long after they leave Disney. So let's take a look at the power of a wish.
gentlemen, please welcome my friend and the CEO of Make-A-Wish America, Richard Davis. Good morning. Such a pleasure to be here with all of you. As Bob mentioned, Make-A-Wish and Disney go back to the very beginnings of our organization when their very first wish was granted right here at Disneyland Resort 40 years ago. Since then, the relationship and the magic that Disney can create has continued to grow. And today, Disney is the largest wish granter on the world. And helping to grant one out of every two children's wishes with critical illnesses across the world. And now that Bob has joined the Make-A-Wish Board of Directors, Disney is impacting our organization in meaningful ways beyond the wish itself, from branding and marketing to fundraising. I've been consistently impressed with the passion and the commitment the job that Bob has shown for Make-A-Wish as his time on the board continues. Through Bob's efforts, Disney and Make-A-Wish are working closer than ever before to transform the lives of one wish at a time. On that note, stay tuned because there are some big announcements in the works for the upcoming 40th anniversary. But of course, in the end, it's all about the power of wishes to forever change a life from that point forward. And that's why stories like the ones you just saw are so important. What is so powerful about these stories, the real magic behind them, is they're 100% real. By supporting Make-A-Wish, you're making a meaningful impact on a family, an impact that makes a significant difference during an incredibly difficult time. Now, it's one thing to see these real people behind the scenes on a screen but it's another to meet these inspiring families in person. And today, I'm excited to do just that. Please welcome the incredible Wish Kids, Daniel, 